In this demo, we're going to show you how the Camion and QuickBooks integration works. As you can see, some loads in Camion have been delivered by this carrier today. If we click into the loads, we can make sure that they have all of the supporting documents that are needed, things like a EOL, and we can even add accessorial charges like a lumber fee. Once we have all the documents and appropriate receipts, we can approve the load. At that point, the load is ready to be invoiced. If we go into accounting, we can find this load under approved. We'll see that the load has both of the supporting documents needed. And we can even view the invoice that our customer will see. Camion integrated with QuickBooks to save you the trouble of re-entering the invoice data in your accounting software. First, navigate to the QuickBooks tab. Click Authenticate My QuickBooks account. Enter your QuickBooks credentials. Connect. Navigate back to the QuickBooks section. And here you map all of the different income categories you use in Camion to those that are used in QuickBooks. This QuickBooks account only has four income categories. We know that we're going to use a flat rate with a fuel surcharge, and we'll call that line haul revenue for accounting purposes. We have detention, which we consider an accessorial. We have layover, we could call hours. And we also have truck order not used, which in QuickBooks we call TONU. We could even add another if we wanted, like a lumper that we could also call an accessory. Once you've added all of your income categories, save those categories. At this point, you can see which invoices have been synced in QuickBooks and which have not. If we look at just our approved loads, we can see that this load has not yet been synced to QuickBooks. We click here, send to QuickBooks, and we'll see that the invoice was successfully sent to QuickBooks. If we log into QuickBooks, we'll see that under invoices, the load should appear. So you can see here, a load for 2,075, load for 2,075.